247 this morning, the police department received a 911 call regarding a stabbing at 808 Beach Bend Drive. Officers were here within four minutes. The first officer went to the front door of the home, knocked on the front door, and a man covered in blood came to the door. He uttered something to the officer to the effect of, just kill me. That man was ordered to the ground. He complied and was handcuffed. It was then discovered that he had what appeared to be several stab wounds on his body. We believe those were self-inflicted stab wounds. That person later turned out to be the suspect in this event. As officers went to clear the home, they found the body of Michelle Pinkowski, the mother of the 14-year-old deceased in the finished basement. Upstairs, they found the bodies of Michelle Pinkowski's 14-year-old son and Michelle Pinkowski's 71-year-old mother. All three victims, when the police went through the home, were deceased from obvious stab wounds. As the investigation proceeded, we learned that Michelle Pinkowski and Craig Garber were actually seen last night at Garber's home, just a few houses away, on the front porch at about 11 o'clock. Michelle was really trying to straighten out her life. She'd been in and out of jail. Mary Lee, the, the grandmother, was a sweet lady who just tried to help take care of her family. And Jonathan was a little boy who was very lost, who didn't, who didn't know family structure. Craig and his family, <laughs> he was always there to help me. He, he was an animal lover. He was always helping Michelle. Um, he had issues, you know, of course, obviously. He just, he had crazy eyes. He was very, he jumped around to a lot of different subjects while trying to tell me a story. And it was just very unnerving. And my wife, which came up there later, she was very uh, scared from him from the very beginning, so. From the evidence at the scene, it appears that Garber and Michelle Pinkowski were in the downstairs finished basement area. We believe that Garber killed Michelle P Pinkowski first, then went upstairs and confronted the 14-year-old in his bedroom. When the grandmother came to find out what was going on, what the commotion was about, he then attacked her. That's Mary Lee Jordan. The nine-year-old girl was asleep on the sofa upstairs. Garber apparently did not realize she was asleep. The nine-year-old actually witnessed her grandmother being attacked by Garber. The nine-year-old witnessed Garber inflicting multiple stab wounds to Ms. Jordan. The nine-year-old went downstairs, looked for her mother, didn't immediately see her, and fled out the rear of the residence. From what we have seen now through processing of the home, it appears from blood transfer and other uh, evidence that Garber uh, probably went in search of the nine-year-old, couldn't find her. At that point, she had fled out the residence. She went to the home of uh, a friend here on this street. Uh, she knocked on the door. That family let her in. That family called 911. The man in that home returned to the victim's home with a pistol, knocked on the door, saw an individual walking around inside. He would not come to the door. Uh, moments later, he heard sirens. The police were almost here, so he backed away and let the police department come in and handle the rest. And that's when the police department banged on the door. Garber answered the door. He was covered in blood, we believe, from self-inflicted stab wounds, one to his chest and other parts of his body. Garber was rushed to Vanderbilt University Medical Center. He underwent surgery. Uh, initially, his wounds were believed to be life-threatening. Now we understand from Vanderbilt he is in critical but stable condition in the intensive care unit. The motive for this remains under investigation. We don't know at this juncture what the motive was. We understand from persons on the street, that, uh, including Garber's family, that he suffers from emotional issues. Uh, he has not lived on the street uh, a long time. Uh, apparently, he had moved into this neighborhood within the past year. 